Fred Curley versus Noah Lyles. These two athletes are easily two of the greatest all-time sprinters to ever hit the track. And what they've been doing over the past few years has really pushed the sport forward into a new dimension. In 2022, Fred Curley won the World Championships, and he also became the sixth fastest athlete of all time, achieving a new personal record of 9.76 seconds. And he's also performed extremely well in the 200 meters, running a time of 19.76. Over to Noah Lyles, he has become one of the all-time greats in the open 200 meters, hitting a remarkable personal record of 19.31 seconds, making him the third fastest athlete of all time in this event, now only falling behind Johan Blake and of course, Usain Bolt. For the previous few seasons, both of these athletes have been extremely successful in their respective events, with Curly running very well in the 100 and Lyles pushing the 200 into new territories. And even though they rarely ever face off, we are finally getting this showdown at the 2023 New York Grand Prix. In this competition, we will be seeing both of these athletes compete in the 200 meters, so naturally Noah Lyles does have a pretty big advantage here, especially given that his season's best for 2023 is currently 19.67 seconds. Now for this performance, Lyles absolutely exploded away from the field over the final 75 meters, and he finished with his classic speed maintenance that he simply holds longer than anyone else in the world. Now, it really does seem as though Lyles is really starting to pick up the pace right now this year, and I would not be surprised if he continues to lower his times for the remainder of the season going into this year's World Championships. And this is a very scary prospect if you're Fred Curley, because not only has he never run as fast as Lyles has this season, but he's only competed in one 200 meter race this season, and in that race he ran a time of 19.92. Now for this race, Curley did run a pretty solid final 30 or 40 meters, holding his form very well over this final stretch to take down a world-class field but Lyles just simply has to be the favorite here. However, many are saying that Fred Curley right now is really hitting top form in the 200 meters, and this is because he recently posted this clip on his Instagram page. Now in this event, Fred Curley, a world-class athlete, is just training on some random track with a high school team it looks like on the field. And in this specific workout, he was doing a 300 meter interval. And while there was no official electronic timing, people have hand-timed him right at 32 seconds. Now, we'll make sure to play this clip all the way through, so if you want to go ahead and rewind it and start it over again, feel free to do that, because I also want to see what time you get. Now, 32 seconds is already an amazing performance over the 300 meter distance. In fact, on the all-time list of 300 meter performances, only 35 athletes have ever broken 32 seconds. And given the fact that this was just a casual workout for Fred Curley, it does make this even more impressive. However, despite this amazing workout and his undeniable abilities, I still think Noah Lyles is the athlete to beat because he has just been so dominant and so consistent over the 200 meters I really don't see how he loses this race, unless something completely unforeseen happens, such as getting injured or perhaps even having a false start. Now, in this exact event last season, Lyles ran a time of 19.61, which is pretty amazing because just a few days after, he was actually diagnosed with COVID-19. But this season, he is looking healthy and he is looking very, very quick. So with all of this information in mind, I now want to hear from all of you. Who do you think is set to be the winner in this year's New York Grand Prix in the men's 200 meter dash? Do you have Fred Curley or do you have Noah Lyles? The odds are that these two will probably be the top two in this race, given their racing histories. But anything can happen. And with that in mind, make sure to leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.